Hello everybody, this is Wolrig, and welcome to Age of Engineering, Episode 4. We're going to start off with a little PSA. So I made a mistake running the smeltery here. I've been cooking up some iron and copper for today's adventure. And I accidentally poured a not enough amount of aluminum brass into this basin. Now if I break the basin, I will lose the liquid inside of it. And so I don't want to do that. I worked really hard for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tank down here. I'm going to shift right click because if I just right click on here, it tries to um, extract an item from that. But if I shift right click, I can put the faucet on the side, put the tank underneath and drain the basin. This is a handy thing, as I said. Here's your PS, PSA for today. If you screw up on the basin mechanics. All right, well, welcome to episode four. I'm cooking up copper. I'm cooking up iron. I got all kinds of things cooking today. We are going to make some machinery so we've gotten our, ourselves into the industrial age. And as it talks about in here, we need to get... Um, one of the first machines we probably want to build is the metal former. This guy here, because that's going to help us build all of our additional machines. And that takes four diamonds. Fortunately, I've been mining recently, and I have five diamonds. So i got a good start to it. Now, I don't have enough diamonds to craft the... Um, Is that what I want? Yeah, that's the ingot. I don't have enough diamonds to craft the... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Talking and thinking at the same time is sometimes hard. Um, what am I going to craft? Oh, the maciator. Yeah, I don't have enough diamonds for that. So that will have to come a little bit later for now. I think I've got enough to get some of the basic machines from industrial craft. So if we go look at industrial craft, we see there's a lot of blocks added. And specifically, the one I'm going to be interested in today is the metal former. This guy here. Uh, we can see it takes some coils. These coils are made with iron and copper. The copper cable comes from a cutter which needs iron and iron plates, which comes from our forge hammer and iron. So there's going to be, you're going to see this a lot where there's these iron plates that need to be used and copper plates. And, and so that is going to be something we use a lot of. And those come together. You basically uh, break them down to make item casings and other things. Dense gold. I need a compressor for that. I don't have a compressor for that. Huh. That's unfortunate. So apparently I need a compressor before I can make the metal former. What does the compressor need? That one actually is not too bad. Uh, looks like they've got that built pretty easily. All right. Well, I guess that's where we start. And then the... Um, the other thing we're going to need is a way to power this, and I'm going to, just going to start with an electric furnace. Or excuse me, a um, furnace generator. Oops, if I can spell generator correctly. Um, there's a lot of different generators here. I'm going to stick with industrial craft, and so I'm going to start off with the tier 1 generator. I can also build a kinetic generator, which might not be a bad idea to try. I don't know what that's going to take. The, the uh, electric motor in it is going to be the most difficult part. And that's actually not terrible. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't have a metal former yet. So, no kinetic generator for us. It looks like we're stuck with the uh, Tier 1 metal... Uh, or excuse me, tier one um, generator, basic one. All right, uh, which is good because now that we can make charcoal, we have a pretty much infinite supply. I got a lot of wood to cut down. 
All right, so let's get started. Let's see. Let me go find my forge hammer. There's what I made last time. And now I need to make the cutter. It's gonna be the, th the other thing we need. So I need three pieces of iron plate. So hopefully here, I've got seven blocks of iron. I've got four blocks of copper. I've got a few more blocks of copper ready to go. Let's finish making that sharpening. Okay, because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go mining here um, before the end of this episode. But let's just get started. So each piece of iron plate takes two pieces of iron. This is going to be a little bit... Was that what I think it was? Dude, seriously? Where'd he go? Ah, Enderman. This dude's trying to... Trying to mess with my jam. Alright, well, I'm going to ignore him. And hopefully he doesn't do anything I wouldn't do. Leave me alone, man. I ain't got time to kill you right now. Or weapons that would be good for me to kill you with. Um, this guy's just not gonna mess. He's just not gonna leave me alone, is he? Hey, dude. All right. I'm gonna try and build an Enderman killing contraption here. If I can. Hopefully I can get lucky. All right. See if we can upset him. Hello, Mr. Enderman. There we go. We got him mad. And if I'm lucky... Oh! Dude, he's fast. I did not build it big enough. Alright. I won't make that mistake again. I must build my protection a little bit bigger. Just trying to... That's what you get for cheaping on the manufacturing. Alright. This should be good. Yo, dude. Come here. Yeah, you. I want an ender pearl, man. Is it cheaty? No. It's just using the mechanics. <laughs> Alright. That's how you kill an Enderman. If you don't have any good weapons or armor. There's another PSA. We are full of PSAs today. There you go. Have a good one. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take care of this death marker. Those are never fun. Uh, something else, I guess I never showed this, um, you get these when you die. It just gives you your coordinates, what you were carrying. Uh, it's pretty nice, but they tend to stack up if you're dying a lot, so... Into the garbage. If it's worth something, I don't know. I don't think it's worth anything as far as I'm concerned. Oh, now the fun of, hey, look at that, I got an ender pearl. That's going to go in there. And... Go ahead and grab that while we're at it. Alright. Where was I at? Okay, so we made the four iron plates. I think I just need three of them. I'm just going to need all of these. Okay. So we should be... Ready to go with our cutter. So, you, uh, as I was saying, you can see there's a number of uses on this on both of these tools. So as we're using these up, uh, they will eventually wear out and break down. But uh, yeah, it's all right. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, electric furnace or the iron furnace, excuse me. Um, this needs five more. Make some more of those. Nope, not quite. And now I have an iron furnace. Uh, and this will actually come in handy once I get all my power generation 
uh, building up because technically this is our first uh, industrial craft uh, machine but I'm not going to stop here I'm going to move right on to the generator the generator is there all right so the next thing I need is some insulated tin cable you know what I have not taken the time to melt any of my tin or well, I suppose let's go ahead and do that. Now, tin is one of these that can mix and become an alloy, I believe. So we'll make sure that there's nothing else in the smeltery when we throw the tin. And I believe tin and copper, is that what makes bronze? Uh, let's go ahead and look at the bronze. Let's see... Where is the, oh, there's the molten bronze. That's what I was looking for. Molten bronze is tin and copper. Yep. There we go. So it is three to one, three parts copper to one part tin. So yes, you want to make sure there is no copper in the uh, smeltery when you're putting tin in and uh, vice versa. Same with the copper. Don't put copper with tin. Don't put tin with copper. Unless you mean to, which I'm going to have to here soon. All right, but not right now. The next thing I'm going to need is redstone. Hey, look, fortunately I have some of that. I'm going to need some rubber. And I think we're all set. All set for now. So the goal here is to get a generator running. Start off with this guy. So put the hammer down. So I get the right blocks in place. All right. And then I cut down the tin plate. Is that right? Yes, it is. Hey, look at that. Now we made our first energy cable. Now we're not going to use it for that. I'm just going to use it to make a rudimentary battery. The RE battery. The next thing is tin plates. Huh. All right. So we mash out the tin and then we mash out the tin plates and we get the item casings. And as you can see, I'm using this hammer up fairly quickly, so yeah. And there's a battery. Excellent. That battery mixes with some iron plates, which I don't have any more of. So iron plates and the iron furnace. And the battery gets me a generator. Cool. So now, where do I want to start setting up my industrial craft? Oh, let's go over here somewhere. Now you want to be careful uh, because once you place an industrial craft machine, there's um, a chance when you, if you need to move it, there's a chance when you break it, let's stay away from the bees, um, there's a chance when you break it that you will not get the machine back. And the chance is very high if you just use a pick. There are tools, actually, that you can build that um, will give you a better chance. Let's go ahead and kind of have this row of machinery over here. So let's go ahead and just clear some more space. This will work. And put down a generator right about there why not and now let's get some charcoal where is all my charcoal I have coal lots and lots of coal I want to save that must have used all my charcoal I think I did to make torches all right hey there's some so all we got to do is throw in some something that is burnable 
in this case charcoal, and we start generating power. Now the nice thing is that this should stop producing power once the internal buffer is full, if I am not mistaken. So I shouldn't have to take this out. It should just stop and we're good. There's 4,000 energy units and the generator is done. Um, did it show what we make on this? It didn't. Okay, because uh, as we get into this, there's a certain amount of uh, EU per tick that we'll need to pay attention to. Um, but that'll come later. All right, the next thing is the compressor. Compressor's going to look like that. Uh, and then, nope, not that guy. This one. All right, so I need six copper, insulated copper, and an iron plate. And then some red redstone. All right, so we're going to cut up some of the copper. I'm going to pound it out first. And then we'll cut up two pieces of this. That should give me the six that I need. No. Three does. Okay. I miscalculated. And now I can... I should be able to wrap them like that, or it's the other way. Can I just stick them together like that? I can. Cool. All right. And yes, I know I made a few extra. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. I need some more redstone. There's a reason. I will need a way to transfer power from my generator to my machines once... I get to that point, which should be fairly shortly. And each one of those gives me one, right? So I need eight. All right, and there's eight. And around in a circle, and then that, and then that, and then fortunately, this uh, recipe I think has been changed to use some of the other um, just other materials I get when I'm mining. And I have, for example, this dorite, which I really don't have another use for right now, except for making this compressor. And an epic squeeze. Now this compressor is gonna serve uh, dual duty here. How did I get a, gra oh, from the Enderman. Oh, he was carrying a grass block. That's cool. All right. So I believe if I just put this, yeah, if I put it right next to it, it's going to suck energy out of the uh, generator here. Ah, that will continue burning. So can I break this down? Yes, I can. Perfect. That's going to be more efficient. So what I did there is I broke down the charcoal into tiny charcoal. And that'll just be a more efficient use of my power. So the compressor can do many things. One of them is that now I have all this sticky resin. Instead of throwing it into... Can I not do that? I thought this was it. I thought it was in the compressor. Can I not? I can smelt it. Oh, extractor. Ah... Nope. Oh, the compressor is for the other stuff. Um, the rubber wood. That should do what I was going to do. Let's clear some stuff out here real quick while I'm at it. Excuse me. All right. No? Nope, that's an extractor too. Never mind. Completely ignore everything I just said. All right, what uh, what is next? So the we built the compressor because I need to make the metal former, which requires oh yes the dense materials. So I gotta smelt up some gold. Fortunately, I found a bunch. 
We'll let that cook up. The other one is the, um, uh, let's see what else we need. All right, we need another one of those. So that means more copper. Like so. And then we cut. This is where um, having something like uh, applied energistics really comes into in handy uh, because these recipes are exhausting. Oh my God. I love it, but holy cow, just the, the layers deep that you have to go on some of this stuff is intense. Um, not quite. I'm missing. Oops. All right. Iron, redstone. This should give me another electric circuit. I need one of those. I need a whole lot of copper cable. Um, eight times three is 24. I am going to have to smelt up some more copper, I believe. Right? Um, yes, because that's only going to give me 22. And then I have two more. Nope, I have 24. Nope, that's not. Because that already has rubber on it, that won't work. And I can't take the rubber back off of that. So I need to smelt up more copper. Fortunately, I have a bunch. We have gold. One block, four ingots of gold. So I will fill up with copper. One block. Four ingots. All right, let me, uh, let's see. What have, what have I got to work on here? I've got a few things to work on here for a couple minutes. There's no sense in me recording all this. Um... I can make one of those, you know, so you guys can see that, right? Because it's a crafting thing. Why not? Copper, iron. There's one coil. Hey! All right. Actually, I can make two coils. Yay! All right, but I can't make the third. Uh, the other thing I need to make are toolboxes, and these are where I need the four diamonds and the dense... And the bronze, let's, uh, you know, before we go anywhere, let's make a little bit of bronze. As I mentioned, that is tin and copper. So I've already thrown some copper in here. I've got two blocks of copper. And it was uh, three parts copper to one part tin. So I'm going to, uh, let's do nine. That should give me a good amount of bronze. Right? So you see it mixing there. The tin and the copper is mixing together to make bronze. Molten bronze is mixing up top there. And I may have actually done this wrong, so I need to throw some more copper in. All right, there's one block of molten bronze. Let's go ahead and pour that out. One more block of molten bronze. Cool. Um, all right. Well, I am going to spend a little bit of time crafting up the rest of these pieces. And when I come back, I should have everything I need for the metal former. So back in a bit. All right, I am just finishing up some of the uh, dense plating. And boy, was this a pain in the butt. The iron, not so much. I had uh, quite a bit of iron floating around. But this uh, gold, yeah, dense plates. If we look at this again, a, uh, it's not what I wanted. If I just look at the dense plates, it takes nine of the standard plates in the compressor. That's two bars per plate. That's 18 blocks per dense. Anyway, it's a lot and I'm glad to be done with that part of it. Um, so yeah, I've been mining for a while. I just thought I'd come back and finish up the uh, metal former. 
I know I said it, I'd have everything ready, but uh, <laughs> I don't. Good news. I got a lot more diamonds and a lot more redstone and a lot more just about everything. Except for gold. I used all of my gold. All right, so let's get to this. Let's get the dense plates. Um, the copper. What did I have? I got one more coil of copper to make. There's copper blocks. What was this guy? Copper around iron. The iron ingots. I was pouring some more iron. There it is. It's like coming back from vacation. You're not quite sure where you left off. Yeah, I don't know about that. And the cutter. And iron. Okay. So I've got all the coils now. I need to make the machine block. It's going to take a bunch more. Uh, let's see. I need eight total. I already have two. So I'll need six more. These are some very expensive crafting recipes. Oh, that's dense. Never mind. There we go. All right. That gets me the machine block like so. And then these guys. All right, let's get some wood. I don't need that much. That was way too much. It's about that many. And the wood casing. Oh, lordy. Okay. I didn't catch that I need that. Holy smokes. Did I mention these recipes are pretty much insane? All right, let's see. I think I should have what I need to get the wood casing. Just need two of those. Go ahead and sort my inventory. There we go. And I should be all set as soon as I grab a few diamonds. There we go. Two of those. Whew. Those small those storage chests are pretty awesome, but wow, they're expensive. All right, what is the other thing? Oh, the bronze. The bronze, the bronze is here. All right, and I need how many? I need one, two, three, four, five. So five bronze item casings, and it's one and two, uh, I don't know. Let's do that. Oh, I get two at a time. Ha ha ha. So I just need ten. There we go. Well, that's fine. I'm sure I will use those another time somewhere else. All right, there's the two tool chests, or the toolboxes. Toolboxes are kind of cool, because you can put tools in them. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have time for that. I need to craft. I think I have everything I need. I do. The metal former. This is going to save me a ton of hammers. Put the metal former down, and there's no power. Aha. Uh -huh. 
because I need to run some cabling to it. Now, you, when you want to, when you run this cabling, uh, you want to be very careful. I'll just run it across the top here. But you want to be really careful because you can use the bare copper wire, for example. I don't want to do that because you can get shocked. So, always insulate your wire. I don't like that spot. Let's put it behind. Looks tacky on top. There we go. And now this guy's getting power. Uh, the second one here doesn't need one, as we saw, but yeah, whatever. Makes it easy. Um, excellent. The metal former. And so now I can extrude or I can roll. I have, or I can cut. I have different options for the things I want to do. And I don't wear down my tools anymore. Cool. So that is the industrial age. We have a metal former. We have a compressor. Uh, what is next? The extractor? What does the extractor need? It's actually not terrible. Let's go ahead and make one of those real quick. And let's use our new machine to get eight. After I get some more iron, probably need to smelt some more. Where'd the iron go? There it is. Let's go ahead and just cap top that off because that'll give me two blocks of iron. Unless I have some floating in here. I have five iron plates in here, so I just need three more really. Right, there we go and oh, I put a couple extra blocks in oh no those took a little bit longer um, yeah iron and the iron blocks are finished all right should have everything I need now so I just need three more let's see this guy in use I want to set it to rolling Come in here and put three pieces of iron in, and off it goes. It's not the fastest thing on the planet. Um, with these machines on the right-hand side here, there's actually room for upgrades. Those are very difficult to make, so we won't be getting any of those anytime soon. I just roll out these three pieces. While that's going, what else do I need? I need... Another one of these guys, which needs one more iron plate. Throw that in there. And some copper wire. I have one piece, three pieces of copper wire. Let's make some more copper wire. So we switch it to cutting and we put it in the, oh, first we gotta roll the plate. Oh, no, I can extrude. Aha, there we go. So I can go straight from ingots to wire. <clears throat> because it just, you know, saves me a few steps. See how my energy is doing here? Yeah, we're burning through this pretty quick. You know, those tiny charcoal blocks don't produce a lot of power. Um, one thing I don't have is I don't have any more rubber. Hmm. Some resin. Let's take half of that and just go ahead and smelt it up. That should be the last bunch that I need to, uh, smelt up all right I got six that should be enough to get me 
what I need. So mix those with those and get that. Grab the redstone. Like so, two of those, and it was an iron plate? Yes, it was. And then the machine. And what else? The taps. Which were... How exactly? Oh, I think... There we go. Four of those. Perfect. Excellent. This is going to be nice because now I can, um, if I'm quick, I can save some of this resin. Yes, I am quick. Grab the rest of the resin out of here. And... Now I have resin doubling. My first doubling, yay! Let's get some more coal. Charcoal, that is. Actually, resin tripling, haha, <laughs> excellent. All right, well that is quite a few machines all in one episode, so Let's see, the next time, next episode I think we're going to make the Maciator, and that's going to give me ore doubling, which would be very nice. Um, other than that, we have the Metal Former, we made the uh, Compressor, we made the Extractor. Um, that's all good things, all things I need. So, we're well on our way to being an industrial juggernaut. Anyway, this is Wallrig. Thanks for watching. We are well into the Industrial Age. We will continue on in the Industrial Age in the next episode. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.